the sun, the moon, you need the stars. The stars. So we need twins that yes. are stars, right? Yeah, you're just gonna put two more kids on their plate. Oh, I'm just doing no two problem. more kids. All right, I'm from Utah, after all. <laughs> but adorable. I mean, they came prepared with so that cute beautiful. little wrap for the baby. Congratulations to them. Well, the time now is 5:56. We just brought you the newest inflation report this morning, right as the numbers came out. But what does it actually mean for you? We're going to chat with CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger to explain how it impacts your wallet. Musical icon. At pg and &E, we're adding more safe and affordable renewable energy every day. We're deploying new technologies that will allow electric vehicles to power homes, which helps customers save more money by capturing low-cost energy. And we're working on new ways to store power so that this safe, clean, and low-cost energy is available around the clock. In fact, we've got one of the world's biggest battery storage plants right here in our backyard. Explore the future with us at pge.com slash innovation. We can't guarantee you'll ever be good enough for her little boy. But we can guarantee code experts will give your home a deep cleaning. From natural stone, tile and grout, upholstering carpets to air ducts and dryer vents. All backed by the best guarantee in the business. So that's one thing she can't complain about. Right? Call 800 for koi or visit koi.com today to schedule your cleaning. That's 800 for koi Thanks for joining us this morning. It's Wednesday, April 10th. So let's get it started. She was catcalled by one of the unhoused residents living here and neighboring uh, our school. We're here because we're struggling. We don't really have a place to go. Parents worried about their kids at school, but some homeless say they're out of options. And now the city of San Jose might step in. I know a number of people who will not bring their children to this main library. I'm a parent, you know, and that breaks my heart. Frightened on the job. San Francisco library workers with a plea for help. We should be able to be building gas stations as people need still need gas. I mean, we don't have, all of us don't have the opportunity to get electric cars. Bold action to protect the environment in the East Bay. But is it fair to all drivers? And the end of an era at Stanford. Take a bow, Tara Vandeveer. College Hoops all-time wins leader leaving the sidelines with praise all across the country. Oh, and she is fitted with excellence. What a great jacket to say thank you for so many years of service. I'm Nicole Slimus, and we applaud you, Tara. Yeah, did you, you saw the headline. Did you feel a little bit sad, too? I did. Well, I I'm, feel happy for her, right? Yes. I, sad I mean, her. you're sad for the program, but she leaves it in good hands. Right. And they're actively negotiating. We'll get to that story with who's going to take her place. But uh, talk about big shoes to fill. Big shoes, that's right. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Reed Cowan. Let's take a live look outside this morning. Let's get into our shoes, whether they're big or small, and go outside right now. There's a beautiful golden glow coming up over our hills, and what a beautiful place we live. Let's talk to Jess, who often gets to fly over those vistas. Good morning. Good morning to both of you. As we wake up and head out the door, today is the day to get out there and really enjoy this warm weather. We have 80s in the forecast for us today in most our inland areas, 70s into San Francisco, and it's hard to believe when you wake out or wake up and head out the door right now and you're noticing those chilly temperatures, but that's going to change drastically into this afternoon. We're waking up to a beautiful sunrise. You can see right above me over the Bay Bridge and over those hills as we head out the door right around the corner as that sun continues to build its or move its way above us and high pressure continues to build its way in just in our atmosphere. This is going to give us dry conditions this afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds, but still dry and warm conditions for today and tomorrow before another cold front moves in heading into our weekend forecast. And that's going to bring us showers, lots of cool temperatures throughout the Bay Area and of course gusty conditions too but let's we'll get there when we get there let's talk more about today daytime highs this afternoon if you live near San Francisco we're hitting 70, 70 degrees and that puts us about seven degrees above average as that high pressure system sits offshore this is the big reason why we're seeing 80s returning to the forecast in areas like San Jose and Concord that puts us about 15 degrees above average and you can see